Good morning and welcome to another Hidden Gem Screencast. My name is Arden Thomas. I'm the Syncom Small Talk Product Manager. The purpose of a Hidden Gem Screencast is to make developers aware of useful abilities of the product that are not obvious. Hopefully you know about them, but if you don't, I think you'll find it very valuable. Today's screencast is about perm space and specifically the new 64-bit perm space preview. So what is perm space? Well, perm space is an area in memory designated for permanent objects. That means they will not be scanned to see if they can be garbage collected. So all your classes and domain objects that you deem permanent can be moved into perm space. And if you have lots of classes and domain objects, that means you can save a considerable amount of time because they won't be looked at to see if they can be garbage collected. With our new developer preview, 64-bit perm space is, is active in the preview. It's been missing in the product, which has been something we have been wanting to get into there for a long time. So I am really pleased to announce we have a preview of it in our development program. If you are a Syncom Smalltalk customer, you can get access to that developer program. If you're interested in that, please just send me an email and I'll send you the, the documentation to get signed up. Now let's talk about how to use perm space. The way you essentially use it is with the, these three steps. First, build your image, and I've done that. I've loaded a bunch of a number of classes and examples and demos that I have from my repository. Then you can do a perm save and close, restart it, garbage collect, and save, and you'll have your, your image set up with objects in perm space. Now, since this is a, a traditional 64-bit image, if I do a perm save as, and let's say I want to save this as perm test 64, save, it says it's not supported. So what we have to do is use the new preview VM to accomplish this. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to exit this. We can save that if we want. The way to use the new preview VM, this is my installation directory right here. Go to preview bin win64, and this is the preview VM right here. I can start my image, I'll use perm test 64, by dropping the image on top of the preview VM. It then starts my preview VM. So now let's try this again. Let's say perm save image as perm test 64. Do I want to replace it? Yes, I do. And that works this time with the new preview VM. Now, after you've done that, simply exit the image without saving. Don't save. And we will restart it. We'll do that the same way. We will drop the image on top of the preview VM to restart the image. So after the restart, we'll want to do a full garbage collection right here. Collect all garbage. Collect all garbage also goes into perm space in case any of those objects can be, can be garbage collected. But they won't for the regular incremental garbage collection. Perm space will not be looked at for garbage collection, thus saving some significant time with a lot of objects. Now, you might say, well, how do I know any of this worked? A good way to go see is look at object memory current. I'm going to inspect that. If I inspect that and scroll down through, here I have perm bytes and perm data bytes. I can see, in fact, if I looked at this earlier, I'd see that these were, in fact, zero. And now I have a significant amount of, of information in perm space. So that is a way you can easily verify that you've done this correctly. Now, the last thing we wanted to discuss is where can I learn more about perm space and garbage collection? If you go to object memory, I'm going to do a control E here. 
which will open up a browser on it. There's some information here about object memory, but if I go to the class side, to documentation, I can see, I can learn all about the different types of garbage collectors right here. And then maybe more importantly, the space descriptions, Eden, New Space, and Perm Space. And there's a significant amount of information here about Perm Space, what it does, and how to use it. And this is a an excellent source of information. Object memory, class side, documentation. There is some minor information in our DLL and C Connect user's guide, very minimal. So this is the best place you can go to for information about perm space. And that concludes this Hidden Gems episode. We talked about what is perm space, how to use it, and where you can find more information. I hope you enjoyed that. Until next time, good luck with Smalltalk.